So students, you have an assignment today and it's talking about functions. And so I hope in this short video, you saw uh, just a practical example of what a function is. And so you saw me go uh, to the vending machine because I was thirsty. And when I got there, I wanted to pick a drink, but I only could pick one at a time. I couldn't pick multiple drinks, even though I might've wanted multiple drinks. There was a little button for each drink, and that's how a function works. For every X, there's one Y. Said another way, for every input, there's one output. If I press one button, I should get one soda. But you saw at the end that when I pressed the button, I got two sodas. I got me two Coke Zeros. Now, that made me happy because I'm fat and out of shape, but that's not a functioning machine. We should have gotten one soda because for every input, there's one output. For every X, there's one Y. In math class, when you're given a table or a graph ordered pair or anything, you want to test that to test to see if that function or that situation is a function. You want to test to see that every X value has one Y value. And so um, you might hear it be called an input or output, independent, dependent, but it's all the same thing. But when we're giving graphs, and with graphs, you can use what's called a vertical line test. Vertical, which is up and down, line test. Um, when you draw your vertical line through the graph, it should only intercept the graph one time. That would mean that at that X value, there's one Y value at which it intercepts, called the vertical line test. You'll learn more about that later on. Our last example is mapping diagrams. And like before, for every X value, there's one Y value. But with mapping diagrams, you have these little arrows coming out, and we just gotta make sure there's only one arrow leaving for each X uh, value. So if I had an X here, there should be one arrow leaving from that X. If there's two arrows leaving, it is probably not a function, okay? Because that would indicate usually that X went to this value and that X went to another value. Let's go.